weather forecast. Good evening, meteorologist Anna Masalsi here with your check-in on the weather. We started off this morning in the 30s, so we saw those temperatures get into the 50s during the afternoon hours. And if you're wondering if we set a high temperature record, we didn't even come close. The high temperature record for today, 72 degrees, which was set back in 2018, so a very tough record to beat. And for current conditions, we're sitting at 44 degrees. We have those winds out of the east-northeast at 5 miles per hour. And with all of these warmer temperatures that we've seen recently, it's helped to melt a lot of the snow, though it's going to take a lot more than just one day of warmer temperatures to thaw out some areas here in central New York. Take a look at this video, which was taken earlier today along East Canada Creek near some areas like Brockett's Bridge, as well as Van Buren Street. Now we still have a lot of large chunks of ice that are just congest uh, congesting the creek. And unfortunately, this is going to create some really, really difficult conditions for tomorrow, some hot spots for flooding. And unfortunately, with all of that rain that's coming, it looks like it's going to be more than just that area. We have some places like West Canada Creek as well along Route 28 that could be a hot spot for flooding. Though before we get to those rain showers, we have some milder conditions expected for tonight. And for more on that, I'll send it to our chief meteorologist, Colleen Hurley, back in the studio. Colleen. Thanks, Dan. Definitely mild for a night in February. Our lows tonight only in the 20s in the North Country and mid 30s for many spots. So many of us staying above freezing tonight. That means more and more snow melt and excessive runoff that will just continue through the night tonight and into the day tomorrow. Another unusually warm day. We get into the mid 50s, 55 tomorrow afternoon in Utica, 48 in Old Ford, 54 in Cooperstown. So very, very warm tomorrow. We would already see quite a bit of snow melting off, but we're also going to be dealing with a rain coming in as well. So let's take a look at how that plays out tonight. We're pretty quiet, partly cloudy skies later on tonight and the clouds will be thickening up for us here tomorrow morning. Then it's tomorrow afternoon when we see the rain moving in. We're well, expecting the heaviest rainfall tomorrow evening around this time and into the late evening hours tomorrow. Then the rain becomes a bit more off and on and scattered through the night tomorrow night, but we're still dealing with a few spotty rain showers here to start the day on Wednesday. Now Wednesday is going to be a weird day where it starts off warm and ends cold. Temperatures will be dropping starting in the 40s to the 20s by the end of the day. So some rain showers very spotty here Wednesday morning will change over to snow showers for the afternoon as that temperature drops dealing with a little bit of lake effect snow here on Wednesday, maybe an inch or so most places with a dusting and we'll see that winding down as we head into Wednesday night for a much colder day on Thursday, but back to normal for us for February. Now we do have a flood watch in effect. This will start tomorrow afternoon it actually goes all the way till Wednesday evening at the earliest. It might even go past that just like we saw on Friday of last week, we can see rising water and flood issues even after the rain has ended. So this will be in effect starting tomorrow afternoon, but goes all night tomorrow night and throughout the day on Wednesday as well as we'll be continuing to monitor the excessive runoff and the rainfall that will lead to those rising waters and potentially some ice jamming up, which can cause some localized flooding as well. Tonight we're quiet, partly cloudy skies and very, very mild. Our low only 36 in Utica. We'll be back into the mid 50s tomorrow afternoon. The wind picks up for us and we've got that rain in the afternoon and evening watching for potential flooding tomorrow evening overnight tomorrow night and into the day Wednesday Wednesday very very windy and you'll see the down arrow here we're 45 in the morning but temperatures dropping throughout the day 20s means rain will change over to some snow on Wednesday then it's cold but quiet on Thursday and we're watching Friday for our next storm with some uh, with several inches of snow possible there at the end of the week it's going to be quite cold this weekend 20s and low 30s with another chance of snow Sunday and we start next week frigid only teens there.